Hello friends, I hope this finds you well. I'm Chris Thrall, I'm a former Royal Marines Commando and now the host of the popular Bought the T-Shirt podcast. But some of you in recent times might know me better for being one of the founding members of the Global Veterans Alliance, a peaceful and lawful organisation that is going to uphold the freedom on the planet that our forebears and our colleagues gave their their lives for. Now I'm going to talk more about this but as some of you might have seen yesterday I put a video up on my channel and it was about this gentleman. Bear with me. There we go. Um, Ricardo Bossi. Bossi. Apologies, I've never heard his name actually pronounced, uh, being an Englishman. But uh, uh, Ricardo was a colonel in the Australian Special Forces, so the Special Air Service. And he's come to prominence in recent years as a, as a speaker, an author, a leader at the Australia One Party. And of course, in the last few days getting more and more well known for his speech isn't he that he delivered at the I'm, I'm guessing it was the world freedom rally in uh in australia not sure which part of australia it actually was but at the same time the global veterans alliance were leading the whole world uh, we led the london parade some of you might might have seen the footage now what i want to do um I'm just going to show you a photo here because there's been a few people ask me did this gentleman ac actually serve and um, yes I, th there is very a limited amount about Colonel Ricardo's uh, military career online but I found this picture on on his Instagram so I hope that uh, you know we never never going to know uh, 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 all, every which way but are we but I don't, I'm not casting aspersions on the gentleman it's not really something I do um, but people have and I don't think he'd be where, where he is if he <laughs> if he was um, pulling a fast one anyway not here to talk about that here to have a look at the speech that the colonel made and I just want to state here and now, I will be making comment on it and trying to relate it to what we're doing, um, what we're doing at the Global Veterans Alliance. This is in no way a critique of this man or his morals or of the wonderful Australian people who are obviously for us, us Brits, uh, our brothers and sisters unequivocally without doubt what this is to say is it's a complex situation we're involved in globally isn't it when we're talking about freedom a lot of people think oh, it's just about some you know about the last couple of years some of you all know it goes a lot deeper doesn't it a lot deeper and a lot more historical and if we don't understand the beast on whose back we're all riding at the moment then we are in for one hell of a ride aren't we so it doesn't hurt if we have exchanges like this where we just swap ideas it's in no way saying hey it's this way or the highway or, or, or whatever but there's a clever let's call it a battle being played and when you think people on remote pollination islands are can we say wearing certain things for the last 18 months uh hopping aside when their when their neighbor walks past you know a neighbor of 40 years or something then you can start to see this isn't just about australia is it this isn't just about you know the incompetent boris johnson in london this is something that is so powerful it's having this effect on the whole 
human psyche the planet wide and if we don't understand how the individuals that uh, may possibly be behind this how they would be operating to, to have this effect then we're on a hiding to nothing aren't we and we're not going to help anyone and one thing the global veterans alliance is committed to is the future of our children we have no egos in a gva if you come to us with that nonsense we just say goodbye to you because ego is one of the way that we're being controlled and we're going to look at that so i've made some um I've made I've just made a couple of notes. I'm not going to go on long, folks, but let's just let's just see how we get on, hey? Da -da. Right. Freedom. It's all about freedom. Right, just bear with me one second. It's all about freedom. Stop. This stops when we wanted to stop. Yes. The moment enough Australians say that's it, it's over. From today, tools down, make whatever excuse you need to, stress leave, holidays, long service, whatever. Close it down and just get yourself through the Christmas. Shut down the country, make it ungovernable up until Christmas and you'll be fine. What up? Okay, I'm just, um, bear with me folks. Just got to check. Uh, well, I hope I'm still recording. Um, so just right from the start off there, if it was that simple, um, it, we would have done it, wouldn't we? If it was just that simple, shut everything down, make it ungovernable. And again, folks, this is not a criticism. I'm just saying, let, let's be realistic here. In Australia, we understand that, that, you know, you guys are having this bad. But the whole reason we're in this mess is the elites control us through our left brain, through our infant mind. They cut us off in education as children. They don't let us develop into the right hemisphere of the brain, which is your love, your kindness, your empathy, your understanding, but most of all, your spiritual connection, your connection to understand that you are universe. You are born perfect under nature. Call that God, whatever you, whatever you want. And you have nothing to fear in this world. And nobody, no psychopathic trillionaire, tells you what you can and can't do. The only person that tells you what you can't, can and can't do is yourself. Uh, through this, this wonderful higher power. And that's only when you're going to hurt other people or bring their lives down, isn't it? Everything else is... is um, it's uh, pretty legal. It basically don't don't hurt anybody, but because we're controlled in this way through our brains, people aren't just going to down tools, are they? And stop work. People, they're just not going to do it. People are afraid. They're afraid their employer will sack them. They're afraid of, of paying their bills. They're afraid of what their their neighbours will think. And and even the wonderful people at this this protest, and I'm sure there were thousands upon thousands, probably when it come down to it, significant um, number of them would go, well, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll protest today, but I ain't taking time off work. But do, do, do you get what I'm saying? Because we'll, we have to be content, careful. The, these, these elites control through fear, don't they? So let's just go on to a bit further. Good news is I'm a praise the Lord and pass the ammunition type of Christian. Okay, I'm a praise the Lord and pass the ammunition type of Christian. It, this is kind of problematic because when you have a violent overthrow, and I know I know a lot of people are thinking this in, in the GVA. We, we this conversation is brought up every single day, several times. But of course, what happens with revolution? You replace one lot of left brain, ego driven 
individuals that are all corrupt, that are all getting blackmailed by 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 the 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 ultra high psychopaths that are all that are all um you know clawing for position because when you when you're controlled by your ego you just want the next position in the job don't you and the position after that because it's all about you when you're ego controlled it's all about you we need to understand this what it's not about is understanding that no we're, we're actually part of this universe all of us and that's a much higher power than us as individuals so we need not to be fooled by the birth certificate identity but what happens when you overthrow a regime is you're overthrowing it guess who with people that don't like that regime but they're still left brain egocentric individuals aren't they this is why if you look at cuba if che guevara came in you know arguably a well-intentioned man overthrow was it batista the, the puppet government down there and then they got castro didn't they and then um you know went from out of a frying pan into another frying pan really in addition who you say pass the ammunition but like to who 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 are you going to get to fight with you um I know this is just a turn of phrase by the colonel and I say it again, I'm, I'm not criticising him. I've reached out to Ricardo and I really would love to work with this gentleman and get something nailed. But if you don't understand the spiritual battle and how we're being played, that, you know, our, our long term goal is not going to materialise, is it? So who are you going to get to fight? Well, you're not going to get anyone. These these trillionaires they own the army don't they they own the police force they own every single corporation if you don't believe that do some research into blackrock you'll find one company plus uh, their rival vanguard between the two of them they own all the stock the, the majority uh shareholders in stock in every significant corporation the planet over in addition they own the education system they own all the judges they control, can we say, uh, you know, business through certain uh, esoteric methods, don't they? So you're not going to get all these bodies rock up and say, yeah, right, pass me the app. You, you won't get th that in numbers until you can under get people to understand the spiritual battle and then come forward because they're not afraid. When you understand the spiritual battle, you don't you know that you don't need to fight that's that's you know it's it's a revolution of the mind more than the physicality um of the situation that's not to say we don't all understand it's incredibly unpleasant and we wish that we could uh, you know get certain position people out of their positions immediately but like i say who are you going to replace them with you just get another bunch of people that are egomaniacs, aren't you? And you, and and you're going to have the same problem. And not only that, um, hang on. Not only that, but the problem isn't in Australia, is it? We've ascertained that it's globally. The individuals that are behind that are behind tyranny control you globally. They control everything they have they're like imagine it like octopus tentacles controlling education here controlling the military there controlling they're so clever they control the chemical reactions in your brain they control the way your brain functions they're that smart they know how to keep you in the fear and how to keep you in division in society so just wanted to make that point. We we need to be thinking a bit more on a bit of a deeper level than hey, let's let's just have a big shoot up and that'll fix everything. Now it's good to start with a prayer, but a prayer is not enough. Yes. We have work to do. Give us this day our daily bread. 
forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Okay, starting with a prayer. Great and that's admirable, you know. Jesus has touched many of our lives or the story. But of course, what is religion doing? What's its main focus within this, this clusterfuck that we're all involved in? Its main purpose is to take the universe out of you or the Christ out of you and place it in a building called a church. It's to take your power away and to put it onto a third party saying you're not worthy, but you have to seek your power from this person was, you know, this God, this, um, this prophet, this whatever that, that, that they were. Again, it's just another way that the elites, um, that the elites work, isn't it? Bear with me. It's just another way that, that we're being controlled. And I'm not knocking the colonel here for saying, saying a prayer, but it, it, it's this kind of stuff we need to be aware of. Because what about all the people in Australia that are abor Aboriginal? You know, in the indigenous, are they all or are they all Christian or do they believe in their in their tribal, um, you know, cultural spirituality? What about all the people that are Muslim or this or this? Can you understand? The elites control us through division. And this is exactly how they 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 control us again, not a criticism. We just got to put this out there to start getting people to go, ah, yeah, yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't thought of that. Um. The bureaucracy that is directed by foreign powers. We have. Okay, this is talking about, um, you know bureaucracy in australia or democracy but but being controlled by foreign power i think this is a, a alluding to china and yes um china's certainly a big player in what's going on but we need to rise above nation state and realize it's not china that's doing what it is in the world this this comes from uh you know this come this this is an agenda that's gone on many many years isn't it and we're all being played china are being played at the moment with their belt and road initiative this super highway into europe this, off the back of that we're seeing uh massive changes in in the european military so we've got a european army that's building as opposed to individuals, and that will be mobilised to go and protect the Suez Canal. But I think it's slightly, um, you know, we've got to be careful here not to put all our eggs in one basket and think, oh, this is, this, this is China. When you look at things like the, you know, the Communist Manifesto, which was written by Karl Marx, who was German, um, when you study the, his, the, the history of esoterics, these underground organizations that's, you know, speaking coded languages, it's, they didn't come from China, did they? Do you get what I'm saying? Um, a compromised judiciary and their lust for children is only exceeded by their desire for cocaine. Again, so talking about the judiciary and you like, I get it, probably a load of corrupt people. He's pointing out their, um, you know, their uh, weaknesses and that's putting it pleasantly, isn't it? You know, drugs and, and, and other stuff that we don't need to mention. But well, here's the thing. That is just left brain behavior. Everybody is corruptible when you live in the left brain because you live, it's about you. It's right brain, it's not about you, it's about universe. Do we see the difference here? So replacing this judiciary with another, again, you're just gonna have the same problem if all you do is get a new, uh, 
you know. Within no time at all, all these well-meaning people that come in, when they start to get carrots dangled in front of their, their face, um, they'll soon, you know, you'll soon see a change in them. Nelson Mandela, first thing he did when he became president of South Africa, or one of the first things, was that he spent something like 50 million on fighter jets, you know, We have a cowardly military that are answering directions from overseas. Yeah, again, it's, it's all the same stuff, isn't it? So the military, what are you? You're angry, you're young, you're left brain, you're ego, ego driven. You want to get out and prove yourself. I'm a big soldier. S same similar situation with the police force. No, not everybody. Of course not. But, you know, this is kind of the, the the vein that runs through it isn't it um and that's that's a big thing you've got a major power in every single country in the world that are controlled through their ego which is dangerous and that isn't just going to go away is it with a global veterans alliance we want to we want to get to a point where we can show the global militaries that they're on the wrong side of history and i won't i won't go too much into that now um got some more stuff here let's have a look control mechanism by the globalists to enslave you Rami. Sorry, that's all communism is now how do we know this so yeah, he's talking about communism as a global enslavement mechanism and and that's uh, used by the globalists and that's exactly what we're, we're seeing happen. Um, the colonel relates it to, to being 50 years old, but it, it this what we're seeing now is the end. It's not even the end result, but it's a stage in a, in a much, much, much longer, uh, a longer plan. If you trace the money system back goes back to 8,000 years to ancient Babylon that's when the people started to realize if they control this system they control everybody but for the purposes of understanding what's going on on the planet yes it's this uh, system let's play a bit more they had their plans up decades ago and let me just give you a small taste of what their plans were back in the 50s so for 70 years they've been doing this this is how we got here this is what they wanted to do. They wanted to do away with all loyalty oaths. They wanted to capture one or both political parties. Well, they've done that. They got control of schools. They softened the curriculum. They got control of the teachers' unions to put the party line into the curriculum. They gained control of all student newspapers. Yeah. It's what it is, isn't it? They, it? The the globalists have infiltrated every single area of our lives and they are pulling the strings. They've got young people confused about whether they should be black, white, male, female, confused about their sexuality, arguing and squabbling about such matters. And of course, some of these movements get funded very heavily by the globalists, don't they, to keep this division. It's all about division and corruption of, um, of the self. You've got mass immigration everywhere from all these this bombing that's gone on around the planet, etc., etc., which is then dis further dissolving cohesion in society. You've got destruction of the family, um, destruction of, of co communities, Religion, albeit, you know, I gave a different slot on it earlier. It, that, that again, is, is, been the, the, is, 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 is being uh, moulded into one, one world religion, isn't it? And, and so it goes on. Um, I'm going to shush there, guys, because I think I've said enough. But I just want to give us a few tasters so that people that when, when, when you hear the Global Veterans Alliance vision, or you pick up on the words that I've just said, you can come forward and you can 
start feeling a bit more certain perhaps in yourself to speak along these lines because we've got to get rid of the division we've got to get rid of the hate we've got to get rid of the violence it's just not going to work if you want to support the global veterans alliance by the way just check this out um, there's our links the telegram i would go for telegram global veterans alliance this public chat's going to shut soon but i strongly encourage you to to come and support us um, if you can support my channel folks as you know there isn't really very much money in youtube and um, i'm kind of wearing two hats aren't i here so that's my patreon there welcome you all in there's a load of um uh benefits of being in the patreon it's 1.99 a month you know it's what four bucks in australia or something it's three in america it's one pound 99 a month in the uk and uh yeah i'd appreciate your support so let's stay positive let's stay loving kind peaceful empathic let's share the message let's stop the division and most of all let's stop that infant brain that com Im impulsive brain that wants to get in and smash and, and destroy believing that that's the way forward because this is the way that, that we're all being controlled thank you very much